With over 1.4 million refugees, Uganda is under the top five refugee hosting nations in the world. About 80% of these refugees are women and children. Many of them lack their basic needs, food and education, which leaves especially the young women vulnerable for sexual exploitation. Access to sexual reproductive health is almost non-existent. Believing in the power of education, activists from inside the community are trying to support refugee families overcome sexual reproductive health challenges and give access to information in innovative ways, encourage to open up and help to evolve the dialogue. These are their stories to be told. Starting from the main problem, lack of access to information, James Bewinica, a refugee from the Democratic Republic of Congo and now filmmaker in the Naki Valley refugee settlement, is using locally available resources and a makeshift film crew to shoot movies and reflect problems of his own community. Today it's about family planning. With volunteer actors from the local community, Bewinica wants to tell a story of two neighborhood families. One has two children, the other has seven. Exploring the challenges emerging from different choices in family planning or the lack thereof. Our organization is an entertainment. We educate and we entertain the community. By entertaining them, there is a message through those films because we create different topics like on sexual violence, HIV, to sexual reproductive health, this movie is showing us, as in the community, how to get a best planning family and to save a best future for our kids. Because in our community, that topic about sexual reproductive health, it's putting our community in a deep poverty. Because when you have 10 kids, you don't know how to sustain them. So you are adding the poverty in the community because the new generation needs to be a sustainable one. A generation with people educated, a generation with people who are able to do something for their community or to develop themselves. Those movies, they are topics by refugees, our own stories. Those topics are created by us and we play it to educate all the community about different stories. Those topics are not discussed well. It's like taboo, you know? There is some topics you cannot speak here according maybe to some African cultures. But when it's through film, we can just project there and everyone will see and will watch and maybe the message is going through directly to people. For this message to reach the audience directly, he and his colleagues organize public viewings for his films using a portable cinema. The crew moves from village to village in the Naki Valley camp, showing their films in public squares or churches 
encouraging for dialogue and increasing awareness. Na mkisha fata filme, filme yote mutakuwa na fata. Tunacheza maluga mingi mingi. Sae tunamaliza filme, kama kuko maswali, unatupoza kazo mwisho wa filme. Ama kama kuko shauri ya kutupatia, hapa mulicheza hivi, mungelifanya hivi. Unatuambia ili tukue tutengeneze tena za mzuri zaidi. About 700 kilometers to the north, near the border of South Sudan. In Bidi Bidi, on the outskirts of the camp, a group of women gathered for learning to sew period pads for themselves. But their setting has a bit more than just a communal activity behind it. In the shadows of a tree, the women find quietness and enough privacy to talk about issues of sexual reproductive health. Most of the people they used to complain that when you when you use condom you feel like uh, you are eating the sweets with the cover. Some other people they feel like at least to remove that cover out so that they enjoy the sweets. When you are using condom, you you have the right to use it, and when you pick it correctly, you can enjoy. You will even enjoy you the wife. The skin is very smooth. It looks even like the fennies. You could not even know that the person has it, wear it. But if they are wearing your absent, you will even enjoy it. Dai? Dai? Nadi? Borikona. Borikona na condom na purube borikona. Janet and Samira are activists organizing these sessions for women and girls. Their concept of spreading useful knowledge on topics of sex, health and family, combined with hands-on workshops, has made it into the community. Tuko hapa kwa ajili ya kuona maendeleo ya wamama. Wamama ni watu wenye wanakuwa na kazi nyingi nyumbani. Sasa target yetu wala vision yetu ni kusema ni tusaidie wa mama wajue kazi za mikono waweze kukoa wana jisaidia kwa kupata chumvi sabuni ni ile target tuko kwa sababu wa mama wanabaki ndani ya kampu hawana kazi yoyote kama wakoenda shambani hawana gisi ya kupata tena cent ndio sasa hii program ikakuja tuzunguke mu village yote tusaidie wa mama tuwaonyeshe namna gani wanaweza kujinua kujipata ansharje kusema waweze kupata makuta ya kuweza kusaidia familia zao Thanks to the activists these sessions are taking place in multiple locations in the settlements mainly rural areas neglected places where it's needed the most making women confident and independent somewhere else back in naki valley another social entrepreneur is using amateur theater to help breaking the silence on sexual issues. Congolese refugee Gulen is a passionate actress herself, so she found a way to combine her personal interest with helping other people.
theater of the oppressed is a peacemaking tool which deals with um, community and individuals problems or challenges I might call it. We come in this community, we identify any kind of a social problem. Currently, we are working on sexual and reproductive health, whereby we identified challenges within young girls, especially, who are getting unwanted pregnancy and they are doing unsafe abortion, whereby they die sometimes, or maybe they lose the babies, and also sexually transmitted infections. We, we create an interactive moment between the actors and the, and the audience, whereby we, we first present the, the scene, where we show a moment of a conflict or a challenge which the community is facing. Then we invite the audience to give in solution. They become spect actors. They come on the stage, they give different solutions to improve the challenge or the problem. Then at the end, we, we, we make a one-on-one, -on asking questions to see if this helped or not. If it helped, we go further by maybe referring people to some organizations which can help them. Or if it is psychological problem, we try by giving counseling or life coaching. The engagement and patience throughout the years these and other activists and social entrepreneurs are showing is bringing valuable results for the country, where more than 40% of the people live beneath the absolute poverty line. Around the year 2000, a Ugandan woman gave birth to seven children on average. Today, 20 years later, the number has reduced to five children on average, whilst the world average sank by around 0.2, a huge improvement. Having the birth rate under control allows the country to accumulate wealth and develop society. It is symbolic that Uganda, openly welcoming refugees, is now benefiting from these people who are giving back to society by being a huge part of a change-making movement. Thank you.